what a businessman do is it takes a, a, a particular a commodity from the back end and then sell it in the same way to the customer. Whereas an entrepreneur, uh, it takes the commodity, it makes the changes and then sell it as per the need of the customer, right? So it is a more tailor-made solution uh, for, for, for the customers. So that is the biggest difference between uh, an entrepreneur and a businessman. So uh, a lot of I mean, like people that come to me usually, they want to ask, you know, do I need to make a lot of big things? For example, uh, you know, Tesla is a very big name, right? And uh, then there is Apple, it, it's a very big name. So these all uh, brands that I'm talking about are a uh, part of entrepreneurs. So an entrepreneur made these kind of a brands, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you have to be very big in terms of products. It could be services as well. So for example, uh, one of my uh, good friend, MBA Chaiwala, I am sure that you must be hearing about it. And uh, it, there is uh, this another uh, Chai brand called Chai Sukta Bar. So these are small things that were already there in the market. So people used to sell a lot of tea already, but these guys, what these guys did, they sold it in a very different way. So even if you, um, you know, use the same kind of a product, but bring it in a different way, you are said an entrepreneur, right? So uh, uh, I mean, like to be an entrepreneur, there are a little bit of techniques. And the best thing is that you need that kind of an attitude. So entrepreneurship is not, a skill but an attitude so even if when you are a student so people usually come to me and uh, you know they they are in the range of say uh, you, they are either graduates or you know they are working somewhere and they ask me are we are we too early or too late for the entrepreneurship so i always say to them you know there is never you you are never too early right so even when you are in school there are a lot of examples there are hundreds and thousands and millions of examples where students from the schools have created great things so even oyo is one of the examples right oyo we all know right and it is an example of it's a beautiful example of entrepreneurship and uh, if if you as a student are looking to build something if you like to build something if you love to bring something new to the table you you have that kind of spirit to be an entrepreneur okay so uh, I, I will first uh, start with I mean like a couple of lessons that I learned in my school days. Uh, so uh, my in my school days I was uh, kind of a backbencher. I used to sit at the back bench. I was a notorious kid of the day, and uh, you know uh, most of the day I, I would be you know hearing scolding from my teacher. So I was kind of that kind of uh, student in my uh, school life. So uh, but I always had that kind of a passion to create something. So I will always be participating in a lot of things. I would always be bringing a lot of feedbacks to the, uh, you know, uh, to the school and to the teachers. And that made me curious to bring something new. And that's how this journey started, right? So uh, I will tell you a little bit of lessons that I learned in my school days. So uh, uh, till my eighth standard, I was not a very bright student of mathematics. Okay, so mathematics was a subject that I used to skip. I, I, would, I would try my best to ignore this subject. And there, are, there were a lot of reasons that I didn't know about that why I was ignoring that subject, why it was not one of my favorites. So one day a, a teacher, I approached a teacher, right? And I asked him that, you know, uh, why uh, I hate, uh, why I couldn't get uh, mathematics in my mind, why it is so hard for me to get mathematics questions, why it is hard for me to, why I have to actually, uh, you know, I was not learning mathematics. I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, you could say that remembering all these things and I was even remembering the results of the mathematics questions. So this is what kind of strategy I was applying and which was very wrong. So that teacher gave me confidence. So he said to me that, you know, mathematics is very easy and you will do great. And his confidence in me uh, gave me the confidence to start making up things. Right. So he, he will come to me and I remember very correctly that, you know, he will, he will come to me and he will say that, you know, no, no, you are not. Uh, that. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. So I, I don't know, but uh, the host is muting me uh, in between. I'm not wrong. So anyways, if uh, my voice, voice is not coming to you, please uh, interpret in, bet interpret in between and I will, I will try to speak again. Okay. So I, I was telling about my school days. 
so uh, there was this teacher who used to uh, you know teach me mathematics uh, after the school also and the more than what he taught me his confidence in me was the best thing that could have happened to me at that particular time so he will he will give me the confidence that you know you can go ahead and you know mathematics is a very easy subject you are very good in it don't think like you are bad in it uh, you know don't be scared of the subject go ahead and you know you will get good marks and all so it started building a lot of curiosity in my mind and at the end of the day i got really good results in mathematics also so what i am saying is that you know uh, it, there are a lot of things that you will think you know uh, in the school days that you know it won't be of use in, in uh, the future for example where i will be using that particular kind of formula in life where i would be using that particular kind of a reaction in my life that particular physics formula in my life but it is not this formula that you would be using but it is the technique of learning that you would be using in every day of your life when you would be uh, you know coming into your professional life so i don't remember those formulas uh, all the formulas that i learned but i do remember how do i learn them so that particular kind of a technique that i learned is the thing that is uh, being useful to me even today right so uh, the first lesson that i want to tell you if if you want to be an entrepreneur is that you know first you need to be uh, you know you never need to be hesitant to approach someone so when i approach this uh, stu- uh, this uh, teacher of mine i was never hesitant so many of the t- uh, students don't go to the teachers they simply say that you know i can do it myself or maybe there is nothing a teacher can do here right or maybe there is nothing a parent or a friend or or a sibling can do here so i have to help myself so uh, you know when you want to be an entrepreneur you first have to understand that you know you cannot do everything by your own you at the end of the day you have to take help of uh, somebody else so you ne- never need to be hesitant to approach always be open always go to the people whoever you would know and even if there are people you don't know but you want to get their help just just be open and go there and ask uh, the help don't be hesitant and the second uh, you know lesson that i learned in my life uh, in my school life was that you know the confidence that you give to a person for example the teacher uh, gave me that kind of confidence and that was the thing that brought me the results so when when you want mm. to bring the best out of something you just give him or her the confidence so for example if you have a friend you know who is lacking in something and uh, uh, if you think you know there there are some areas where that particular kind of uh, that friend of yours has to work upon so you give him that kind of a confidence and when you would be working uh, for example now i use the same kind of technique to my team members i for example sometimes uh, you know not everybody has a same kind of a potential right so we or all have different uh, capabilities we all have different strength and weaknesses so when i uh, you know b- work in my office and sometimes when i am approached by a person that you know uh, i am not able to give my best what i give back to him is the confidence so i told tell him that you know you can do it absolutely fine you just need to relax you just need to uh, you know uh, work upon yourself you just need to be patient about what you are doing and this kind of a confidence can uh, uh, actually give the maximum results out of anybody trust me no matter from where you start if you have the confidence you can reach to any point of life okay so these two lessons have learned uh, i have learned in my school days which has helped me a lot lot many times and sir although you would be learning a lot of skills in your life you would be learning java you would be learning c you would be maybe going to the uh, doctor line and you would be doing the phd's you would be doing a lot of things but the attitude that you will carry and that attitude that you will learn from the school days the days that you are currently in this is the real strength of yours trust me this is something that no colleges would be teaching you this is something that no internship or no jobs would be teaching you this is something that you taught to yourself right and just just focus on it and whatever you are doing just focus on um, um, you know you you are journey right now so whatever uh, class what are standard you are in just try to make the best out of it not just for the sake of marks but for the sake of learning right so this is what makes the whole difference that when people uh, you know are not running behind the result but the process they make the best out of it okay 
Great. Yes, so, sir. Uh, so, yes, so, sir. So now uh, I I will tell you a little bit of uh, my journey, my professional journey, how I started. So uh, after my twelfth uh, standard, I uh, did my engineering and I uh, you know joined Kurukshetra University where I did my engineering for the next four years. Uh, after my engineering, uh, you know uh, my parents were uh, very hesitant uh, to uh, you know give me money to go for the. higher studies so uh, rather than pressuring them i thought of like you know let's let's join a job let's learn something out of myself so i joined a company in noida i worked there for 3 years then i you know switched the company to different company and i was working as a data scientist with uh, adobe and uh, after my uh, you know uh, this whole journey of uh, uh, corporate world after 7 8 years i thought of uh, you know i was actually you know uh, working on a lot of ideas most of them failed so let me be very frank so uh, many of the ideas i have worked and uh, 70 to 80% of them have failed so they have failed miserably although i have given my best but what what happen is even when you give your best and you don't get the result people will come and say that you know you must have not have given the best of yourself you know you you were not concentrate enough you were not focused enough so these are these kind of things i have heard also so uh, you know it it was a part of play i guess so after a, a lot of struggles and after a lot of failures um, i started predictions for success and it was a huge hit and uh, you know um, we we earned a lot we not in just term of money but in terms of business in terms of collaboration in terms of uh, press releases people were talking about us we were doing something different and this is this is what an entrepreneur loves the most guys so see uh, if if you will see my lifestyle if you will see a lot of things that i do you will you will be you know feeling very uh, you know happy about it but what I, what makes me happy is the feeling that i bring something new uh, to the world every day so this is the kind of feeling that i cannot express in words but trust me if if you know it if if the if it you know if that is there in your heart you will feel it that you know uh, the the feeling of creating something new so that is what entrepreneurship is all about so it it is nothing uh, more than that so everything else is complementary the money is complementary the learning is complementary uh, the you know say uh, the exposure is complementary everything else is complementary the best thing is that you know you you are creating something new for the world for the new generation you are bringing something and that is making a difference so uh, currently guys uh, more than 10 million people read me and uh, that makes me uh, yeah. you know uh, wonder that what more i can bring so my content is being read so i i i think like you know what what else i could do so that even if i change the life of one person even if i touch the life of one person uh, that would be the whole purpose of my life right so the third thing that uh, the third lesson that i want to teach you is that a leader always makes more leader right so for example if you are good in something right if you are good in mathematics and uh, you help uh, other students learn mathematics and you make them uh, do better in that particular subject trust me that is what makes you the leader so that is what leaders do they do not go alone they bring people along with them so these three skills you know being open uh, to go to a conversation being open to approach somebody the second lesson of uh, bringing confidence to yourself and the third lesson that you know uh, uh, you, you have to bring more people so as a leader you have to bring more people with you so these three lessons are the best lessons that can take you to anywhere trust me so when you would be doing any kind of a business so if you are bringing into service industry if you are into product industry you are bringing some new games anything and everything these three lessons could take you to the new heights and without these three lessons trust me it would be very hard of a journey so for example for me even if i wouldn't have followed these three uh, principles it would have been very very hard i would have missed a lot of opportunities if i was not following these things right so uh, i will now you know talk about difficulties if, if like we have uh, uh, you know already spoken about it so what kind of difficulties an entrepreneur faces so uh, the first difficulty i think uh, is of course about money 
so whenever you try to start something you first of all think about you know uh, i don't have money to you know invest in anything for example if you want to be a blogger right and you you will first think you know i don't have any uh, good camera so i don't have money to buy a good camera so what our mind do is it gives you a lot of excuses so whenever you want to do something your mind will tell you excuses to not do that so for example you want to say you know uh, okay so you if you love photography and uh, you go to places so if you want to do something in professional in photography what will happen is after 10 15 days you will start thinking no no i don't have a very good camera that is why my pictures are not going good so when i will purchase a new camera then i will start working on it so that is how the ideas keep delaying it there will never be a day that you will be satisfied right that you know i now i have got everything and even if the day comes at that particular day you won't be working trust me so whatever resources you have right now so start working upon those so use those resources carefully use those resources smartly right don't complain about what you don't have start grateful about what you already have and try to use that so uh, 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 the second thing that will happen to you is whenever you will start something so people will come and say that you know you are very young you don't need to do that there is a lot of time for this why you are doing this concentrate on something else so for example when i was st- when i started working on my business people uh, and uh, you know my neighbor my friends everybody came to me and said that why you are doing this you are already doing a good job so a uh, concentrate upon your job and money why you are looking for a business it's very risky you shouldn't do it there is a lot of time left for you you know you could do it after 45 so for you it would be like you know for example if you start wor- uh, working on something the people will come to you and they will say that you know why you are doing this in school why don't you uh, concentrate on your studies why don't you uh, you know concentrate upon your college right now this is something that you can do after job there are a lot of time left so trust me don't hear all of those uh, excuses don't hear any of these words just ignore them because what what ha- what is happening right now is that you know they are trying to pull you down because they are insecure because they think that you know because they know that you can go ahead you know you have that kind of a potential when they sense that kind of a potential in you they start to pull you down because they think what will happen if he goes up and i will be staying uh, where i am right now so they are jealous of you at that particular moment even if they don't know it they are still envy of you they think that what will happen if you succeed uh, if you get succeed so you have to ignore all those talks and it will be there so it would be in your early stage so people who would be laughing at you right now who would be you know challenging you who would be questioning your potential all those people would be coming back to you trust me even if even if they uh, say that you know uh, no 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 we won't be talking to you if you go uh, in this way so all those people will be coming back to you when you will be succeed that is for sure so i i know a lot of people who said to me that you know you are wasting your life you are wasting your money you are wasting your time and efforts uh, you won't be succeed and all those people came back to me after when i get, when i get success they came to me and they sometimes ask me for something then some kind of favor or something and you no know, things like that and it will happen to everybody of us so whoever an entrepreneur you will you will be talking to they all have been in the we all have been in the same genre so uh, this is something that you have to ignore the third thing that uh, will come to uh, as is a difficulty to uh, you when you will be uh, joining entrepreneurship is uh, uh, you know the fact that entrepreneurship is a not a one day job right so for example sometimes what will happen is you will get a good idea you will see that you know you will think that you know yes i got a, a brilliant idea this is something that i have to work upon this can change my life this will make me a lot happy this will make me a lot of rich right but after 10 days you will drop that idea what will happen is the motivation and the kind of inspiration uh, that pulled you for that particular idea will start decreasing so when it start decreasing what happen is you start losing focus so what you will do is you will uh, you know think of something else you will think no 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 i think this is not a good idea i have to think something else then after a few days i have to think something else you are not working patiently on it right and until you don't have patience for something trust me nothing will bring you results nothing happens in one day guys uh, not even months 
so it takes a lot of hard work and takes a lot of patience for me it took me 5 years to uh, you know uh, end my job and focus completely on it, uh, on on my business for few people it it is a less time but still there is a lot of patience and there is a lot of risk involved so entrepreneurship is all about risk so as i told you in the beginning the basic difference between a businessman and an entrepreneur is the risk involved so a businessman has less risk because what he is doing he is decreasing the less decreasing the risk as much as he can so he won't be risking a lot on the factor so for example if he is purchasing bananas so he won't be purchasing a lot of bananas because he think that you know if i would if i purchase a lot of bananas what will happen if they got rotten what will happen if they go if something goes bad and if i couldn't sell to uh, the customers so whereas an entrepreneur he takes a lot of big risks so he he is ready to you know take up any kind of a challenge he is uh, ready to uh, you know uh, take any kind of a risk to bring the most of the benefits so this is something uh, that as an entrepreneur you also would be facing right so if you have any idea you would be facing these three issues mainly right and now i will tell tell you about you know if you have a good idea how to know that idea is worth something so now this is something uh, very typical i don't have very exact answer to it because there is no uh, you know uh, exact rule which can tell you what uh, uh, ideas are best and what ideas are uh, you know something that you need to wait so uh, for me uh, personally what happen is uh, when when i get an idea and i hear a lot of ideas so people around me keep telling me a lot of ideas so what i do is i research about it for the first 10 days i research the best out of it i will i will i will research about what kind of risk is involved i will research about what kind of uh, 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 input is required from my end and when i say input it is not just about money but most importantly about effort yes, how much time is needed from my end to complete that particular kind of a idea so for example if you tell me that you know sir i have a good idea of making bicycles right so first i will go to the internet i will search about what kind of uh, you know uh, uh, investment is required here what kind of investment in terms of money as well as in terms of efforts as well as in terms of selling so for example it is not possible to build a, a, a bicycle factory overnight right it will take time and it will take a lot of authorization from people it will it will need a lot of signatures from the government agencies right so uh, these kind of things you have to uh, do your homework so when you get a good idea first of all write it down make a copy so even if it is a even if it's a stupid idea if you think you know it, it it sounds very stupid just write it down in your diary maybe today it is sounding uh, stupid but after 5 years 10 years down the line maybe you will be looking at the idea again and you will be thinking you know this is a billion dollar idea so if you uh, you know talk about airline industry 2 200 years back if you uh, ask about you know uh, what if i make an airplane say 200 300 years back so it it was a crazy idea at that time but now it it is one of the best right so the uh, validity of idea changes so whatever idea you have in mind always note it down in your diary then uh, for the first 10 days do a little research on it research in terms of resources as well as what kind of inputs are required after 10 days talk about that idea to your friends and ask them their feedback so for example talk to your friends and uh, ask them then you know oh, do you think it's a good idea or not what is your uh, feedback upon this and if somebody says negative about that particular idea don't get disheartened there is no, you know you don't have to uh, convince anybody you just have to unbiasedly know their views you just have to learn from them what they think about it so even if if you ask 100 people and out of 100 people 99 people tell you that you know this idea is uh, uh, you know uh, absolutely stupid don't get disheartened if you think it is a good idea it's a good idea as simple as that so all those 99 people are just giving their views but they it, it doesn't mean that their view has to be as uh, streamlined as yours so you may have a different view right so uh, don't be disheartened if people uh, give a negative feedback but always take feedback so uh, the first 10 days are for the uh, uh, you know are uh, doing homework 
the next 10 days are for the uh, uh, feedback time so ask your parents your family talk to your friends uh, even there are a lot of things on internet that you can ask you are already i'm sure you must be using a lot of tiktoks and uh, instagrams and uh, uh, facebook ask your ideas there ask your friends over there what you think of this idea and they will be telling you you know that uh, this is a good idea or not after 10 days i'm like after 20 days what you have to do is you have to again go back to the basics so now you again have to think about it and see whether that idea still excites you or not if the answer is yes if if the answer is yes it this idea still excites me then go for it that's a very good idea trust me even if all the world say that this is not a good idea it's an idiot idea it's a stupid idea go with your heart if even after 20 days if it still excites you it's it's a very very good idea and you don't have to drop it at all right and if you think you know yeah there is something you know you have to work upon it or if you have any doubts again the 30 days cycle will start first 10 days you do your research then the next 10 days with the updated version go for the feedback and the next 10 days the result time where you will be again asking yourself is this still excites me or not okay so uh, this is this is basically what the entrepreneur's uh, journey is so there are a lot of challenges uh, but there are a lot of uh, you know a learning and uh, there are a lot of benefits involved in an entrepreneur's uh, life so we travel a lot if you travel a lot i think you will love entrepreneurship because uh, you would be getting a chances to go to a lot of places if you love meeting people uh, that's again a very good opportunity for you because we meet a lot of people uh we go to places uh we we eat a lot of beautiful uh you know delicious food so if that is something that you love uh, i think uh, entrepreneurial journey is with you and uh, now i i think uh, we are good to take up uh, any questions that you have and the question that you have uh, for me i would love to take the can i absolutely why not uh sir how do you confident people say that uh, you don't have that much of capability whoever is saying that thing to you is actually insecure so the person who is insecure because he thinks what will happen that this particular guy get the confidence to build something and people will then taunt me that you know this guy if this guy could have done it why why couldn't you have done it right so they are insecure of you you are you are amazing see i will give you a hint that why you are amazing so out of everybody you raised a question right and you are concerned about this right so this is a sign that you have the capability man trust me you know when when you are curious about things when you are curious to learn when you are curious to get a better of yourself you are already the winner don't think sir. about negative don't hear negative ignore those kind of people Sir, thank you, sir. Sir, may I ask a question? Entrepreneur, which company? I have a couple of companies there. Uh, so I have total uh, four companies uh, uh, that I have built. Uh, one is Passionate Management Services, that is into uh, recruitment and HR. And then there is Engineer by Mistake, which is into talent management. Then there is Passionate Management Services, which is into consulting. And then we have Made in India, which is an uh, initiative by us to uh, promote. businesses uh, that are grown in india sir, sir how can to i be motivated yeah, basically what what your companies sir? do excuse They me do i request all the students to please ask their questions one by one like like please ask the question or you can just drop your questions <laughs> in the chat box and we'll ask because i guess the students are too much excited to you know <laughs> i i love, I love kind thing. of excitement trust me this is this is i was very excited to meet all of you guys because i talk to a lot of uh, people i as i said that they are into professional world but talking with the students this is my favorite trust me okay thank you so yeah you yeah yeah you question please बेस्ट कैंडिडेट्स 
right so we do these kind of hirings so can i yeah so what is the risk risk of uh, getting into internet entrepreneurship other than like uh, financially or motivation etc besides it so if if i am getting your question right you are asking what kind of risk involved in entrepreneurship apart from a uh, financial risk right yes sir so in internet entrepreneurship okay internet a database yeah okay so uh, see uh, Uh, th- there is no risks as such except that you know you would be see either you earn from entrepreneurship or you learn from entrepreneurship there is never a loss trust me so you either earn from it or you learn from it sir how to keep motivated while doing a work or project sir your company will you know the people the kind of people that you are connected with will help you in that so uh, if you, if you have people who push you for example if you have people who also are you know very keen to uh, grow in life to do something big in life those kind of people will keep motivating you or you will keep motivating them uh, understanding so that kind of circle create that kind of circle that is uh, you know giver and takers of motivation okay okay thank you sir Yes, please. So, may I so ask the you, job is better or the business is better? Okay, so you are asking entrepreneurship is better or business is better, right? Yes, sir. So, see, uh, both are good actually. The only thing is in business, uh, the risk is less, the profit is less. In entrepreneurship, the risk is high, the profit is you know you can't even imagine. so this is kind of a, a difference between a business and an entrepreneur uh, but uh, you cannot compare both of them right they both have their own uh, advantage and disadvantages for me i chose uh, entrepreneurship because uh, yes also so this is also one of the big factor for a business you need a lot of money at, at least a lot of uh, you know to start with something you have to have some money but in entrepreneurship you may or may not be requiring a lot of money or even any kind of a money so for example you can start a channel on uh, on particular subject you can start speaking on youtube about something so uh, that can bring you uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, you know uh, results so even it doesn't require any kind of inputs so that is the biggest difference it it is you who choose what kind of taste is better for you Sir, so may suppose your idea is impossible uh, you don't know how to make the use of the how to make the product then uh, how can we uh, uh, make the idea into product i'm sorry can you please repeat your question so suppose uh, if you have an idea and the idea seems to be impossible you don't know how to uh, make the product then uh, how can uh, we uh, develop the idea can you give me an example uh so suppose uh if you want uh it sounds stupid but uh, suppose you want to uh, there is nothing stupid trust me there is nothing stupid there is nothing stupid no idea is stupid in this world so suppose uh, uh after studying the uh suppose you want to uh, just teleport from one place to another you have got mm-hmm. a really interesting idea and suppose mm-hmm. the materials are not in this world then how can the idea is even possible sure so for example if you are asking about uh, teleportation uh, how to go from one place to another without uh, the physical journey right yes sir so first you uh, you know start studying about the subject for example you start studying about light you start studying about uh, you know uh, uh, time density how things work in a black hole you know the, the things like that so when you will study about these things you will get some idea you won't be creating a product but you will be creating a knowledge first right then talk this to the people who already have such kind of idea in their mind so for example if you know you go to a teacher and he says that yeah i too have that kind of idea in mind and what i have learned is this you share the knowledge you both bring something now you have a team right so see uh, entrepreneurs are not people who know everything 
I don't know everything. Seriously, there are a lot of things. There are ninety percent of the things that I don't know. So, but what I do is, I am very approachable to people. So, if I don't know something, I will approach to the right people who know it. So, uh, I I have a team. This is this is why we need a teamwork, right? There is uh, nothing shame in it. There is there should not be any kind of a hesitation in it. So, if you cannot do something, find a person who can do it. Okay, so. Yeah. What was the question just now? Yeah. So what was the question that was asked just now? Yeah, it, the question was that uh, you know what what to do if uh, you have a product that is impossible to create. Sir, okay. can we just recreate the things which are based upon our uh, ancient studies? Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question, please? Sir, can we just recreate the things which are based upon the theories given by our ancient builders? Absolutely, absolutely. Today I was uh, reading the news. Uh, Indian Army has got one uh, this uh, um, arms from a Noida-based company, Trishul. So Trish, what they have done is they have created a Trishul. At the end of uh, the points and like the pins, they have cre- they have put some uh, high voltage current. Right. So for it, it is non-lethal uh, kind of uh, weapon, and uh, that that's a big hit, and that's a very good innovation. So uh, right. So this is something that they have taken from our ancient history only. Sir, just like Lord Vishnu's guided missiles. Correct. Correct. In our Purana. Yeah. Even, even, then there is called Vajra. Vajra is uh, you know uh, one of the weapon that was described in our Vedas, and the same weapon is you know and created in the real world. And that chakra. Yeah, then uh, yeah, the, 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 there is an endless kind of an possibility in this. Trust me. So now, when you are thinking, see, when you are talking, and you, you know, we are talking, and you, a lot of new ideas coming up, right? So that is how the things are. The things went for me as well. So when you talk to people, a lot of things comes in your mind, and you just need to note it down. So whoever has asked these questions, please note these ideas in your notebook. You maybe uh, want to work upon it, sir. Uh, in recent conditions, I, uh, from my relevant sources, I have gained the knowledge that in some carvings, uh, Rama's arrow is not depicted like just an arrow, a single arrow. It's depicted just like a missile. So, can we conclude that Rama's arrows were not just arrows if they were missiles? And we oh. also read about Rama and that uh, Rama's arrow was too powerful to destroy a whole city or a whole territory. See, uh, you know, the name could be different. So even if I uh, call you Ashok, even if I call you Ram, you are still the same person, right? So this is what is happening. So even if we call it atomic bomb, or even if we call it, uh, say, you know, uh, uh, P- Pakshupat, or you know, uh, Vajra, or any big weapon that was uh, there in the in, in our ancient scriptures, the name is different, but the purpose is same, right? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. So apples don't taste like oranges if you start calling them oranges. It will still be an apple. The only the name is changing. So suppose uh, we have got an idea from the internet, and uh, idea is not ours. The idea is uh, from other person. Can we mm-hmm. go ahead with that idea? No, uh, that is called a copyright thing. So yes. So what happened is if you have an idea. the first thing that everybody do is they copyright it what copyright means is that i have the right to work upon this idea nobody else and if anybody yes, else start to do patent sir sorry that they do patents on, yeah. on their ideas yeah absolutely the copyrights the patents that you take so all these things are to protect your idea and to make sure that only you could use those ideas and if anybody else would be using it it would be illegal Yes, sir. So my name is Amay, and I want to ask that uh, if uh, means that anyone can take the copyrights from anyone else of someone's ideas. No, no, dear, no, no, Amay. So if you if this is your idea, you have to prove to the court that you know this idea belongs to you. So maybe like uh, if I tell this idea to someone else and someone else copyright this idea, so what would be the condition then? Sorry, I didn't get your question. So means that I had an idea and I told to someone else. 
and uh, the person copied that he took your idea okay so what happened is ame i will tell you so there is something called non disclosure agreement nda non disclosure agreement so whenever we speak about an idea to a person you know no you know a person that you think could steal your idea so you ask them to sign this nda in this nda what is written is all your idea and it is written that you cannot use this idea you cannot tell this idea to anybody else and if you tell this it would be legal and i can take a legal action against you so that is called nda so if it was not taken then what would be the situation sorry what so if it was not been signed uh, so what would be the situation then so if 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 he is not signing that nda and you know uh, he is asking you for for the idea you don't tell them the idea yes sir keep it secret yeah keep it secret <laughs> okay thank you sir. no worries am i any other questions please if any so how has... to prove in the code that uh, the idea belongs to us and uh, no other you you search about, search for it on internet so internet has every idea there right so whoever brings an idea and once he is done with the copyright and patent thing he will put it on internet sir, but so it can't be copy sir is it copy uh, from internet sorry what sir if we uh, search the idea from internet then it is not said as copy it is said Why? as copy it is absolutely said as copy sir what would happen if we combine two ideas and make a new idea this is what most of the entrepreneurs do this is the secret don't tell this to anybody okay sir <laughs> sir uh, is it good to start a uh, startup a self startup it's very good it's it could be a very uh, learning experience for you so why not man just go about it sir at first you have given an example of banana sir mm -hmm. but by making the uh, banana shake it will means take more uh, money money than business sir by saying buying say, selling it sir so it can be profited or uh, loss sir yeah this is what i'm saying so see here the risk is more right you have to get uh, uh, you know uh, uh, some shop you have to get some uh, some like you know uh, uh, the sugar things like that but here the profit is very very high so if you sell a banana for 5 rupees uh, this uh, profit a banana shake is sold for a 50% profit so a banana shake that costs 20 rupees is sold for 50 rupees so here the profit is more than uh, you know 100% yes sir yes so that is the biggest difference man so And with people also will be interested in so sorry what people will be also interested on a new thing that is banana shake Yeah, I mean, shakes. yes, of course. So once you start making banana shakes, you could bring papaya shakes to them because you already have everything right. You just need to change the ingredient from banana to papaya, right? So this is what happens. So a businessman is always, uh, you know, concerned about one particular process. He will not be going here and there. But an entrepreneur always go here and there and find a lot of new ways to uh, bring a lot of new businesses. so i have a question mm -hmm. uh means i have an idea but uh, like um sir uh, as an example uh, i am not into computer science but oh. i have an but i have an uh, idea of uh, an app like uh, i have thought of this like uh, this app would benefit the people mm -hmm. so but i am not from computer science so like uh, if i uh, tell someone to develop this app or like anything so will i get any benefit from that or anything like that absolutely akanksha so what will happen is for example first of all let's talk about your example ne right? that you know you have an idea about app but you don't know how to make an app right so what you can do is you go to the internet first and see how an app is made so the first step it, it is very easy to make apps trust me so even if you don't have any uh, you know uh, technical skills to make an app you can still make an app through internet there are a lot of easy ways 
the second thing that you can do is you can go to people who know how to make app and be partnered with them so you tell them that you know i would be taking care of the ideas i would be taking care of the business i would be taking care of how the planning goes you take care of the technical stuff and we go into this kind of a partnership so this is what happens uh, for example if i don't know something so i was not into recruitment right so i uh, recruitment was not my forte so i uh, got partnered with one of uh, my our co-founders and i said to them right that you know you take care of the uh, recruitment stuff i take care of the business i take care of everything and you take care of the recruitment stuff and this is how uh, passionate management start building up but sir in this case uh, we have to divide the profit in 50 50 no no the, the equation is always not 50 50 there could be a lot of other permutations combinations it could be 20 80 it could be 20 50 30% for the backup so there are a lot of lot of lot of permutations good evening sir very good evening rohan so my question is uh, what is uh, generally what is the meaning of investment okay so investment means Uh, something that you uh, you know put at a risk to get something out of it so investment is not just about money it is also about efforts and time so for example if you are if i am investing some time in something that is as equivalent as money to me even sometimes my time is more valuable right so it, it, investment is not just about money but your time and efforts also sir i think in entrepreneurship sir investment is required more yes investment is required but you can convert your money requirement to uh, your resource requirement so for example if you need you know uh, uh, a tool to do a job in 10 hours uh, you know say for example if you want to uh, uh, have have a tool which is very costly but it will save you 10 hours so rather than purchasing that tool you can invest 10 hours in into your hard work and you know replace it uh, with the kind of investment that was needed yes sir sir i am bhakti sir suppose we have a business industry and in a particular time our business is going to loss so what do you do in this time now what i will do at that time i will stop making any kind of expenditures first of all right and uh, then i will call in corona okay yeah so see uh, uh, frankly speaking okay what what happened in corona was we knew that you know business is going down but we were always very hopeful that you know the time will come when everything would be settled and we will be back again on the track so what we did was at that time we hold ourselves so the businesses that hold themselves during that pandemic time are the businesses that are growing at a much more exponential rate right now and the people who were not patient in a particular time they stopped business went to the job or did something took some decisions that they cannot come back to the business right so it is all about patience it's all about patience and it happens it's a very beautiful question actually it happens to a lot of businesses most of the businesses for example if you don't know about it paytm is going through a heavy loss right now but what they are doing is they are holding it up so that because because they have that kind of idea in their mind that you know they would be able to back themselves after some time yes sir sir i have a question uh huh so what do we uh, what do we most enjoy about being an entrepreneur the, the best thing for me is that you know i create something that makes a difference and this is something new that i do so this kind of a feeling i cannot express in words frankly you know when you do something that that makes a difference in the world you know you do something that is being remembered for the ages to come you cannot compare that particular kind of a feeling with anything else okay okay sir sir are there any special qualification to be an entrepreneur no they can complement your journey but they are not needed yes sir 
Sir, I have a question. Mm-hmm. So why most of the startups fail in India? Like, uh, is it because of the thinking of the society or any other reason? Yeah, I think why I think most of the uh, businesses fail. You said businesses fail, not entrepreneurs fail. Because businesses fail because businesses are always you no. Know, what happen is they copy the ideas of others. So they think, for example, if Rakesh uh, is doing a particular business and he is making money out of it, why can't I make money out of it? so that is how the chain goes in so then uh, this idea would be copied by other then that idea would be copied by other and other and other and everybody would be everybody would be thinking that you know they also can make as good as money as anybody else is doing so that is how and that is why i think you know most of the businesses fail and the second thing is they don't have patience right so they want the results to be there in next 3 months or 6 months only so when they don't get the result they think that you know, this idea is wastage Sir, so like you're doing a startup. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Hello. So yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Tell me. So can I ask a question? i i was saying that you know about why ideas fail in business why businesses fail in, uh, in india why many of the businesses fail in india so i was telling why it happens because people copy the idea from others and they expect the same kind of results so this is i'm yogesh kumar uh, now i'm in class 11 so what is the first step that i take now for entrepreneurship what is the what um now i'm in class 11 sir uh-huh. so what is the first step that should i take now so Why you should that? start noting down all the ideas that you have in mind and start connected with connecting with people who are into uh, entrepreneurship who who can you know who motivate you or who have done that kind of a particular thing so start making uh, connections with them so whatever your network is that is your net worth so net worth is equal to net worth remember that so how to convince uh, convince parent for you <laughs> so <laughs> i'm mean, like uh, see it's very hard and you know it depends upon parents to parents so uh, what what i will suggest to you is start, don't ask something big in front up front so for example if you want to start don't go to your dad and say that i want this kind of a money he will simply deny to you so what happen is first make them understand what your thinking is rather than asking them something tell them something so that they themselves say to you you know if if they get your idea see you have to convince them so you have to not just convince your parents you have to convince investors you have to convince your customers so if you cannot convince your parents you will not be able to convince your customers as well because the customers are you know very brute right they don't even remember, know you who you are but your at least your parents know you so they trust you they will at least listen to you so start practicing the business at home and start uh, uh, making your parents convinced to you this okay, is thank you so we have a few questions in the chat box also there's a question like are there any particular places where we can purpose our ideas and where we can post our ideas Ma, might be. Uh, it's there. No, there, are, there are no pages as such, and then again, it comes to the same thing that you know. If you will post your idea there, people can copy that idea. And there is one more question: like, how did you get the motivation in your journey to be an entrepreneur, and what were your biggest fear at that time? So the biggest fear is, of course, uh, you know, uh, the time and. Uh, the energy and the money that we invest in uh, get lost but uh, you know how we get motivated is uh, see uh, personally for me i never had a lot of you know uh, i i i had a very humble background uh, my parents uh, my father was uh, working in a government job and uh, you know i belonged to a very small village so uh, you know there was nothing to lose for me frankly so i always knew you know from where i started so i never forget from where i start and that keep me motivated 
so i start thinking about you know even if not everything goes bad and you know if i have to start back from the scratch i can do it again because i i don't have any fear right now so because i never had a something back which i can lose so everything that i have earned is i have earned it by with my hard work i can do it again so then can you suggest some books to to refer or to read on our journey to become absolutely there are a lot of books so you can uh, read from robin and then there are, uh, is this uh, uh, you know the monk who sold his ferrari is a very good book is one of my favorites first of all uh, if if you know if you can read our ancient scriptures uh, read books from uh, you know bhagavad gita or you know i read a lot of books from uh, say shiv mahapuran and books like these they have a lot of things that you know you you can accumulate a lot of good ideas out from it so uh, the, reading is a very good habit in ways rich dad poor dad is again a very good topic okay so general question sir Now, Now, suppose we 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 have a business plan, mm -hmm. but um, we, we do all things for um, we will do all all things things for will that for need uh, success the plan. But we need only one thing, that the signature of the government. But the government told that we cannot do. So what we will do in this time? Signature of what? What did you say, dear? Sir, we have um, things. We have need that things to make the success the plan. We have mm -hmm. do all things, but we need one, only one thing. That is the signature of government. But the government say that he cannot do. So what is doing this time? ये तो बड़ा typical question है I say I would say because it happens some see not just to us but to a lot of people. there are a lot of big companies that came to india and they left india because you know uh, government was not supportive of those ideas so there were rules that were that couldn't be bent so in that case nothing uh, could help you uh, uh, you know uh, except your own lawyers so you hire the best of the lawyers of india and uh, they help you in that i think that is the best way possible otherwise you know it right a lot of things goes under the table also so i don't need to tell you all those things Yes, sir. I have read the book Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Sir, I have read the book Rich Dad and Poor Dad. Arey wow, very nice, very nice, very nice. Go for more books. Read a lot of books as much as you can because books are the source of inspiration. Yes, sir. But the things mentioned in that book are not related to India. Like uh, it's more of the US, US and the other American. Like you are saying it right, but then I will say that you know there could be hundreds of books, right? There. Are, i will show you my books right now can you see my books so there is there is yes, that so yes, all sir. there yes, the, the books and even my whole library is a book so i have a complete room which is full of books so read a lot of books uh, books are the best source of uh, inspiration so i have so. another question so i think uh, that's it i think uh, i have uh, taken up all the questions if you if there is uh, still any last question for me i would be very happy to help so i have a question yeah so we have talked about like all like how about the success but if if something if we fail in that thing so how do we deal with that so when you fail you have a lot of learning at that time and that means that in the next business you don't have to start from the scratch you have to start from where you left right so now your level is up right so the chances of success is again up so don't be disheartened even if you fail you just trust on yourself because every time you fail every time you learn every time you learn every time your chances of success increase the success is the next chapter of failure yep very nice So I think uh, that's all, uh, 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 right? Uh, uh, yes, sir. So, like, we we can't thank you enough for first of all for having accepted our invitation and for having been a part of this wonderful session. And it was definitely clear that all the students were very much excited and they were very much involved. It was much beyond our expectation. It went really well. 
and thank you so much for blessing us with your wisdom your experiences your your success your failures and giving us so many deep insights so we'll remain grateful for that and thanking you from the bottom of our hearts in the name of our college isabarampur in the name of our club so once again thanking you sir thank you so thank much thank you so much it was pleasure talking to all of you and i can't uh, you know wait to see all of you succeed in your life and you know i'm sure that you will do great in career thank, thank you, you bye bye thank you bye sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you all thank you sir thank you thank you thank you sir Thank, Thank, you. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, Thank sir. You. Bye, 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 guys. Best of luck. Thank to you, you, sir.